Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn. So our topic for today is Arithmetic Sequence Solving for the Missing Term. So let's have our objectives. Derive the general rule of arithmetic sequence and solve for the missing term of the given arithmetic sequence. But before we proceed with our topic, let's have a drill! Find the common difference and the next term of the following arithmetic sequence. Let's have 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. So the common difference is 4. So this is equal to 4. You can actually obtain it by subtracting any consecutive terms, such as 5 minus 1 is 4. And the next term for this arithmetic sequence is 21. You can simply get it by adding 4 to your term 17. So let's have another one. Let's have 12, 7, 2, negative 3, and negative 8. And the common difference of this arithmetic sequence is negative 5. Since the terms on this arithmetic sequence are descending, the common difference is a negative number. You can get it by subtracting any consecutive terms. For this one, let's have 7 minus 12, which is negative 5. And the next term to this arithmetic sequence is negative 13. You simply add negative 5 to your term, negative 8. Now let's have the last one. So let's have 2 squared to 5, 5 squared to 5, 8 squared to 5, and 11 squared to 5. The common difference of this arithmetic sequence is 3 squared to 5. So this is equal to 3 squared to 5. You can get it by subtracting any consecutive terms. Let's have 5 squared to 5 minus 2 squared to 5, which is 3 squared to 5. And the next term for this arithmetic sequence is 14 squared to 5. You simply add 3 squared to 5 to your 11 squared to 5. So obviously, if you know the common difference of the arithmetic sequence, you can easily get the next term. But what if you have to find the term which is not the next term. For example, find the 31st term of the arithmetic sequence with terms 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17. To solve for that problem, we're going to need the general rule for arithmetic sequence and we can derive it using the definition of arithmetic sequence which is Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by adding a fixed number called common difference. So using the definition, we can actually make an arithmetic sequence in general term. So we can have the first term as a sub 1. And by definition, we can get the next term by adding the common difference. Therefore, the next term will be a sub 1 plus d, which is the common difference. And to get the next term to this, we're going to add another d that will give us a sub 1 plus 2d. And to get the fourth term, we will do the same. We're going to add d. So that will give us a sub 1 plus 3d. Then the next one will be a sub 1 plus 4d and so on. So in our sequence, we already have the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. So what we're going to do is to find the n term. Remember that the n term can be any term. On our previous lesson, n term can be denoted by a sub n. So a sub n is also used for our general rule and we know that your a sub n will be equal to a sub 1 plus something and then that something is actually the number of common difference that you're going to add to your a sub 1. So observe our general arithmetic sequence. If you will notice, on our fifth term, we have 4d. On our fourth term, we have 3d. On our third term, we have 2d. On our second term, we have 1d. And our first term, we do not have d or 0d. So notice that the position of the term has something to do with the number of d. So what we're going to do is just simply subtract 1 from the position of the term to get the number of d that you're going to add to your a sub 1. So since the position of n term is n, we're going to have n minus 1 times 
D. And this is actually our general rule for the arithmetic sequence. Nice. So now, how to use the general rule of arithmetic sequence a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times t. So first, of course, we have to identify the variables on our general rule. So a sub n is the nth term. It can be any term. So a sub 1 is the first term. n is the position of the nth term or a sub n. Then d is the common difference. So now let's try it on our previous problem. Find the 31st term of the arithmetic sequence with terms 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17. So we're going to look for the values of a sub n, a sub 1, n, and d on our problem. So since we are looking for the 31st term, our a sub n will be the a sub 31 or the 31st term. Then we're going to look for the first term. On our sequence, the first term is 1, so therefore, a sub 1 is 1. Then we're going to look for the position of the nth term. So since the nth term is a sub 31, the position is the 31st term, n is equal to 31. Then the common difference can be obtained by subtracting any consecutive terms. For this one, let's sub 9 minus 5, which is 4. So our common difference is equal to Four. Since we already have the values of a sub n, which is a sub 31, a sub 1 is equal to 1, n is equal to 31, and d is equal to 4, we can now use these values to solve for the 31st term of the arithmetic sequence with terms 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17. So what we're going to do is just simply have the general rule, which is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Then we're going to replace the variables with the values that we obtain. So the a sub n will become a sub 31, a sub 1 will become 1, n is equal to 31, and d is equal to 4. Then we just simply copy the rest on our general rule. So what we're going to do next is just simply solve this. So we're going to have a sub 31 equals 1 plus 31 minus 1 is 30 times 4. Then a sub 31 is equal to 1 plus 30 times 4 is 120. Then a sub 31 is equal to 121. So the 31st term of the arithmetic sequence with terms 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17 is 121. Wow! Okay, so now let's have another example. Find the fifth term of the arithmetic sequence with terms 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. So what we're going to do is to simply find the values of a sub n, a sub 1, n, and d on our given problem. So the a sub n will become a sub 15 since we are looking for the fifth term. a sub 1 is 9 because that is the first term of our given sequence n is equal to 15 because the position of our a sub n is the 15th term. Then the common difference is negative 2. So since the terms on our arithmetic sequence are descending, our common difference is a negative number. So we can now use our general rule, which is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Then we're going to replace all the variables with the values that we obtain. So a sub n will become a sub 15, a sub 1 will become 9, n will become 15, then d will become negative 2. So notice that I put negative 2 in parentheses to differentiate the operation multiplication from subtraction. So now let's continue with the problem. So a sub 15 is equal to 9 plus 15 minus 1 is 14 times negative 2. a sub 15 is equal to 9 plus negative 28, which is 14 times negative 2. Then a sub 15 is equal to negative 19. So therefore, the 15th term of the arithmetic sequence 9, 7, 5, 3, 1 is negative 19. Wow! Now let's have another one. Solve for the missing term of the arithmetic sequence 2, 9, 16, 23, and so on up to 19th term. So we're going to look for the 19th term. 
So, the same with what we did on our previous examples, we're going to look for the values of a sub n, a sub 1, n, and d on our problem. So, a sub n will become a sub 19 since we're looking for the 19th term. a sub 1 is 2 because that is the first term of the given sequence. n is 19 because that is the position of the missing term or a sub n. Then, d is equal to 7 because 9 minus 2 is 7, 16 minus... 9 is 7 and so on, which is the common difference. So now we can use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Then replace the variables with the values that we obtain. So a sub n will become a sub 19, a sub 1 will become 2, n will become 19, and d is equal to 7. So now we solve. So, a sub 19 is equal to 2 plus 19 minus 1 is 18 times 7. So, a sub 19 is equal to 2 plus 18 times 7 is 126. So, you just simply add 2 plus 126. You will have a sub 19 is equal to 128. Wow! Okay, so now let's have our last problem. So solve for the missing term of the arithmetic sequence with terms 28, 25, 22, 19, and so on up to the 81st term. So we're going to look for the 81st term of this arithmetic sequence. So the same with what we did in our previous example, we're going to look for the values of a sub n, a sub 1, n, and d on our problem. So the a sub n is a sub 81 since we're looking for the 81st term. A sub 1 is 28 because that is the first term of the given sequence. N is equal to 81 because that is the position of our A sub N, which is A sub 81. Then D, which is the common difference, is equal to negative 3 because if you subtract 25 minus 28, you will have negative 3. So again, if the terms on your arithmetic sequence are descending, the common difference is a negative number. So now we can already use the general rule. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. We replace the variables with the values that we obtain. We will have a sub 81 is equal to 28 plus 81 minus 1 times negative 3. So again, I put negative 3 on parentheses so that you will not mistake it with the subtraction symbol. Next, we solve for this one. a sub 81 is equal to 28 plus 81 minus 1 is 80 times negative 3. a sub 81 is equal to 28 plus negative 240. So, a sub 81 is equal to 28 plus negative 240 is negative 212. Then, that's it. We're done with our lesson. Wow! So thank you and hope you have learned something on this video.